Brace yourselves for Mama Bear the Mama Gamer and Elena Gamer the Baby Mama. Boom! <laughs> boom boom. Boom bidi boom 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 boom. Pardon me. Hi! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Mm, we can do bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Welcome to the bloopers. Um, no, we're not going to do the bloopers yet. <laughs> Maybe later. 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 If they're good enough to make the cut. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Hi, welcome to the Gamer... Geek Gamer Tribe? The Geek Gamer Tribe. Sorry, we're going to have to get used to this name because we've just created this particular... Um, you know, we've, we've just started something new with the, the YouTube. Thank you to all those who have followed us before through other platforms. Um, welcome. And welcome to anyone new who's joining us. Um, we do appreciate any feedback at all. If there's anything you want to see or maybe you don't want to see anymore, um, please just let us know. I'm Mama B. And I'm Elena Gamer. Yes. Um, we did streaming on, well, we didn't do it on Twitch, but we did it on a platform called UpLive. It was all right, just it needed a few tweaks and it wasn't just for us. It just wasn't, all. it was a new, they were trying something new and unfortunately there wasn't a lot of support there for us, um, especially considering we're in Australia um, and we just found that it was a lot of hard work for, for little in return. So, And if you have been there, you know exactly what we're talking about <laughs> with the comments and stuff. Yeah. But I mean, they have so much room for improvement and I really hope they fix that because I wouldn't mind going back, but it's just not for me right now. So we've decided to start our YouTube channel. But if you want to see what we streamed on mm -hmm. Live, just go to Elena Gamer 91 YouTube page, which is my personal one. And I have ones where we were playing Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy, which we will be doing again, but we're going to try it on computer and see how different <laughs> it's going to be. Which is going to be awkward because I've stopped playing games on computer. I actually do mine a lot on Xbox One now, so it's going to be fun because, you know. I'm going to be making her trying it out on computer. Thanks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> have to. Anyway, so as you all may know, The Witcher series came out on Netflix. Um, I've been, I knew a bit about The Witcher only because I played The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, and I love that game. I've never finished it. I've started playing it again since the series came out. But then I thought, why not record it from the first, very first game? And I haven't seen them. Yeah. I have not <laughs> yeah. seen the games. I haven't read the books. So for me, when I watched The Witcher on Netflix, I was unaware of, you know, the storyline, what it was about. I mean, I had a rough idea. Um, so I found the series really good and sort of has tweaked my interest in the games now. So this is why we've decided to do the game since it seems to be a hot topic at the moment. Um, but I'm not going to play. <laughs> not today anyway. Yeah. I'm going to let Elena go and play today. Um, obviously, I'm just not used to computers and um, yeah. I have issues. Yes. So, you know, it was actually a really good experience with the series because you do like the origins of... Siri and then Yennefer, which I didn't know her origin story, which they did amazingly. I will, this is kind of like a review of the series at the same time, but basically the pacing was a bit weird. I found it very interesting the way that they told the story. I found it very interesting the way they told the story. It took me a while to figure out that's what was going I on. I didn't know what was going on <laughs> until the last episode. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't oh, realize how they were pacing it until oh, oh, oh. spoilers. Massive spoilers. Um, turn away now. If you, if you haven't you. seen it, go see it. Because I'm going to be talking so about the last episode or second last episode. What are you waiting for? Yes. Go watch it now. Ready? Okay. So when you see that Geralt is in Sintra, in the dungeons, and then that that was going on, I was like, oh my god. It all just, just went click. And it went, oh, I thought the whole thing was what he was doing while she was on the run. And I'm like, no, it was basically... But, you know, it was really good. The pacing was a bit weird. I, It was okay. I wasn't a big fan of it. I think it was a great way of being able to lead up to what come to that point. Because I think telling Siri's side of the story up to that point, I think would have been a bit boring, honestly. I so mean, I, think, I think they did it in an interesting way because it really kept you kept your, your attention on, on the storyline so I actually found it quite interesting and then I watched uh, Angry Joe's review 
and he made a point where he, like when you came to Yennefer's part of the story, like every time she came on screen, you're like, mm, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we wanted to know what happened to Yennefer, didn't we? Because All the only the only thing I know about Yennefer is from the third game. See, and I know nothing. Um. So, and Triss was a bit weird because we all, those who played the game, we all expected her to have like bright red hair. But in the books, she didn't. She didn't? She didn't have red hair. No, I, I read another review um, the other day about it in regards to the comparisons because a lot of people expected the series to be based on the games and it's not. It's based mainly on the books. That's why um, the and logo's the books, different. And the books, it's actually, her hair was actually dark. She had dark hair. She did not have red hair. So, you know, there's, I know that a lot of people are Did you notice who was in it, though? Mr. Pym from Tomb Raider? The, yes, I did. As soon as I saw him, I went, oh, oh my God. I know you. <laughs> Don't you love it when you see something? You go, well, I, I see you. all these people and I went, I know you. Um, I've seen you in something. I've seen you in that. I'm really good with faces and celebrities and voices. So if I hear a voice, I go, I know that sounds familiar. Yes. And then it'll click. Yeah. We, 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 we do do that quite often when we're watching something. I know that voice. Yes, it's yes. It's, it's like I was watching... And we don't Google. We don't Google. We try to work it out ourselves. I found out that one of the girls in Goofy... One of the Goofy movies? The uh, artist clicking... Oh, click. yeah. Yeah. She's Meg from Hercules. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, oh my God. I didn't realise who you said that. Anyway, so onto the game. <laughs> onto the game. Sorry, ADHD. What can you do? Um, oh, I haven't taken. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so it'd be interesting. So we thought we'd try the first game, see how it is, um, because I am actually intrigued. I've seen a bit of the beginning, but um, it's the layout's a bit weird with the game. I know that. So enjoy the ride because it's going to be a bit bumpy. <laughs> It's going to be all very us. bumpy all with us. me talking too much. Anyway, anyway. Alright, so here we go. Oh, okay. Select game mode. Uh, play the witch adventure through a dark world where there is no good or evil, just choices and no consequences. consequences. Play one of the new adventures, each of which tells a singular story based on the world and the characters of the witcher. Ooh. Ah. Uh, huh? <laughs> I think I would probably go with the witcher. To start with, I think because that's, I guess that's the first one you play, and then you play that. Yeah, I think that's probably what well, I. This is one of the new adventures, so we'll go The Witcher. Yeah. Okay, we get to oh oh okay, they represent easy, medium, yeah. hard. Uh, immediate level recommended for most games. Combat is challenging. Alchemy is useful. Oh, for novice, combat is easy. Alchemy is not required to survive. I guess I'm going to have to now. <laughs> I was just going to say, I'm waiting to see which one she chooses. You know what? I'll get made fun of, so I'm going to go. <laughs> oh. Mouse, Mouse preferred. preferred, featuring an easily controlled smart Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, using a mouse. That ought to be interesting. Recommended for casual gamers and those wanting a more strategic overview of battles. We'll try and make them I don't know. I'm always just... Well, look, you know what? It's you playing. If it was me, I would do the mouse, but it's you playing. So you've, you've got to choose. Feature. Recommended for experienced gamers and those who want to get closer to the action. The northern kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270. Five years after the Great War.
Just a little dramatic. Watch. <laughs> oh no, he did. The end. That was a big end. <laughs> I finished it 100%. Everything's alright. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you are alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. Speak soon enough. We're nearing Karamoran. What year was this city? I mean, not city, sorry. What year was this particular game released? Do you remember? No, we'll look into that. <laughs> See when the game was released. I think it was like 2000. beautiful yeah for about the first 15 20 minutes then you go oh, Lord. unlike horizon zero dawn now that story is i know so I good still that. You yeah, wow we'll see if uh just here oh. we're home leo get tris Near its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. It's a bit out of sync, isn't it? Wrong! You missed the parry! I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always! Yeah. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I got boots. <laughs> I was just going to say hello there. <laughs> I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you're important. Geralt, we go. It's a sign. I need to think. With my blade. <laughs> Time goes slowly at Kermoran. Ha! It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Mm. Looks fresh, doesn't it? I think it always looks like that, doesn't it? Like it's a deep scalp. No, no, no. I have to. Wait for the <laughs> rest. Fun. He's alone. The professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. It's mine! Oh, it's laggy. It has. Vesemir, we got company. We can tell by the yeah, graphics and everything else that it, it's obviously not the stuff, right? I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. I'm <laughs> 
laggy. Oh my god. I can show it. feel fine anyone know who the intruders are ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. that we know marigold you could try some of your famous magic in due time lambert enough we need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard best of it. <laughs> maybe it's just because it's a new game i think that and a brand new computer well newest yeah, I was going to say, you might find this. Oh, let's save it first, hey? <laughs> Let's! Alright. Oh, I'm going to go through that again. Okay. Oh, well, thanks, Lambert. Yo, yeah, cool who? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Um. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One Isn't mean that the things beast. that had to kill Yenasa in the series? I know him. Like a mage as ambitious as he is insane. When she was in that Yeah, no. They're coming up here. Get ready. There's more. They're entering the upper courtyard. The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Well, how do you bet? Professor, you know the way. Get to it. Aragorn, you would have just broken your type. <laughs> the professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kaelin. Really loud. really loudly. And I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. <laughs> the bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. No Eskel, Lambert, Game you'll help friends. me stop the I've Frightener and the it. bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. Sorry, when we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits. The one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. They call him White Wolf because of his hair. I know. I know that's why. Yeah, and the, did you know the reason why his hair's black? Probably not. Yeah. So, when he had the mutagens that turned him into the witch, he turned his hair into the That's why they call him the White Wolf because. I thought I had to do something. Something to do with it. From what I could be wrong, completely wrong, but from what I could tell, there's different types of witches. Which like roots are part of, and he's his wolf. So when they, he's a hair turned white, they called him white wolf. Coming from like, which I thought that's interesting. But it's, I think he's the only one really who had his hair turned that color. And he says something about his eyes too. Just a bit blind. 
You'll regret the day you were born. Style to defeat the switch to this star by left clicking on the cat icon or by pressing X. Alright. It's getting more efficient. You're getting more efficient. <laughs> Use a strong star to defeat larger armor to switch to this. Okay, so those are the. Mess with me and die. Hades. Fast style, strong style, and I have a rusty sword. <laughs> That's because you uh, had to pick one of the you training swords. You cannot talk to other characters while wielding a weapon. Select this mode to sheath your weapon and be allowed to talk. And uh, oh shit, wrong button. There we go. Oh, I gotta do. Hang on. I'll make you squeal. Oh, 
terrible camera angle, but that's no. Introduce cutscenes. I hated them. Well, sometimes cutscenes do more than the, there's more cutscenes. I know. In the game. There's a few games that really frustrated me because it's like a part of it I wanted to actually fight in or do, and then the cutscene did it. Oh, For example, Natla in Tomb Raider Underworld. Tomb Raider, I think, was a few of them that really bugged me. It's like, why is the cutscene no through here? Follow me, Buck to Savola. Spoiler alert, Beyond Peter. Right at the end, you've got Thor's hammer. Okay. So you got Thor's hammer. So you get the gauntlets, and then you get Thor's hammer, and then you go into the underworld. Underworld. Um, spoiler, very massive spoiler. And you find your mum there, half dead. Kill her, then you've got to go and fight Natla. But you just go around and you do stuff and you've got to climb everywhere and it's fun. And then right at the end you're like, oh, I've got to fight her properly now. No, she just throws the hammer at her and knocks her out and kills her. Sort of. DLC shows that she survives. With the doppelganger of Lara. I hate yeah. when it does that. It's and like then, that and big, then I'm like, big lead up and it's just like... Because every other game, you have bosses. Like, even Anniversary, you have bosses. But then, with Underworld... You don't really get that much bosses, really. Not really. Um, but it's disappointing when they take that away from you, because to me, that's what you lead up to to beat them. And the idea is she beats them, but yeah, when, when they do the oh. oh, yeah. cutscenes, sometimes you really do spoil the game. You regret the day you were born. Don't regret the day you were born. Rolled, I think. Oh, 
Chat, I could hear better. That too, so I thought I was a spider for a second. No, I thought it was a praying mantis. Damn it, Geralt. It's a miracle you're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Truth may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember, Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside, and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now, and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. this episode here <laughs> also I need to go feed my child um, thank you guys for watching um, I'm actually glad I'm doing this <laughs> even though it's very different from the third one and different fighting style but I, I just like this um, but yes we'll pick up the next episode and uh, I'll see you guys next time in the next video see you later bye bye